We are back with another episode of the Stack Supplement Podcast, and I do apologize as the craziest thing has happened over the last two weeks. I want to assure everyone I did not forget. I made sure that we got this done as soon as I got back. Um, I recorded an episode explaining what was about to go down. <laughs> we uh, traveled all the way to China um, in an effort to basically uh, meet up with Chinese domestic Chinese brands, uh, as well as some distributors in the area, which we did. Had some incredibly great meetings. Um, learned, I think I, I personally put out on social media that I learned more in that week than any other week in my 12, 15 year career in the industry. It is just completely um, amazing how it all operates, how that market or that part of the world um, works. And we actually were there to try and find Chinese brands to share on Stacked. As you know, we share brands from Japan, Australia, uh, Austria, Hungary, Poland, shout out to Lucas, <laughs> the UK, the US, Canada, everywhere pretty much, but I don't know any from China, which is why I ventured there. And yeah, had some incredibly fruitful meetings, uh, just worth every dollar I spent to get there. And um, I recorded an episode for the podcast going over the week. And I was gonna say that, you know, we might be skipping a week, um, but the problem was is that when we got to China, um, this is quite commonly known, is that uh, China blocks a lot of the regular social media things. So anything Google related, anything meta related, which includes Facebook, Instagram, um, Reddit as well, is blocked. Netflix block, everything is blocked. Um, and you could use, there are like things like VPNs, but nothing was uh, strong enough to upload an entire video if that makes sense so even if you had a connection you couldn't it couldn't wouldn't stay there it wouldn't remain long enough for us to upload so i was we're up shit creek couldn't even do anything about the time we actually ventured out we didn't have um the, the video recorded was pointless but uh, so i apologize for that um but incredibly worthwhile i uh definitely don't like it when I, we uh, disappoint fans and followers but I will say that the, the, the things that I learned during that trip and the brands and content we'll be sharing and some of the things that we're gonna be doing moving forward in and outside of the Stacked website, um, all stemming from that week and hopefully more. But I'm gonna run over basically the last week anyway. We're gonna just jump straight forward, forget about the two weeks prior and get straight into it, shooting over the uh, top stories shared on our website from the past seven days. And I wanna start things off with a story we actually shared last week on Friday that went over basically the big event. So back before COVID, we stacked, attended a lot of events. The Arnold, the Olympia, um, uh, FIBO, Body Power, there, there was a lot. Dubai Muscle Show. Um, and that was a great way to connect with brands internationally as well as firsthand, see some unveilings, announcements and all that stuff. Um, we're getting back into that slowly but surely. And one of the big shows that I've always wanted to go to is NAX. Now NAX is the national forgive me if I'm wrong, but I think it's the National Association Convenience Show. I could be wrong on this. I might be something completely different, but I know the abbreviation is NAX. Um, and every year, big name companies go. It's basically the hub for convenience stores. And I originally thought it was just like food and like drinks, like fun convenience stuff, um, CPG stuff. It's more than that. It is a beast of a show. It's got like, I've got emails about things that are attending and showing off there and it's, it's actually everything related to a convenience store. So everything that could possibly go into a convenience store is here. Um, we're finally going. So the show is going down next week. Next week I'm there in just over a week. It's one of the, it's an industry show. You have to be, you can't pay to get in. Um, you have to be like applying all this stuff and we've managed to um, be accepted as a media partner and we're going to be yeah bringing all the latest news on things from our realm because as I said there are a lot of companies and brands there that don't necessarily connect with what we do at Stacked sports nutrition functional foods and energy drinks um, but a lot of those will be there and that's why we're going to sort of meet up with them talk to them find out what's happening learn about new products because this is a b2b industry site thing so they'll be announcing a lot of things we already know a couple things that are going to be revealed and shared there. A lot of big name brands will be in attendance and uh, yeah, we, we uh, plan on capturing it all and sharing it on the site, so stay tuned. Uh, we'll have it there, I think EHP Labs has something cooked up. Their first ever collab I think has been unveiled there. Uh, I know Bucked Up was gonna be there. Um, Electrolit I think is there as well. 
uh, monster, obviously. It's pretty much, you know, who's who of convenience. Anything you see in a convenience store, I think is going to be there pretty much. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. We'll be doing our, getting back into our live show stuff again, where we share announcements and stuff like that from shows. And we'll be doing that, um, yeah, through there. So stay tuned. I think it kicks off Wednesday to Friday. So we'll be sharing content probably quite a bit on Wednesday. Um, but I think most of it will be posted Thursday. So it might be half days, Wednesday, Thursday. You see a lot of the stuff from the show. Um, but yeah, that one's, uh, look forward to that. And that's actually going to be part of a travel schedule that I've got coming up. So if anyone is in these areas, feel free to hit me up and meet up brands, consumers, whatever. I personally will be in Atlanta, um, for the next convenience, the next show. Then we're going to the Apollo Seminar, which is happening uh, a week from this Saturday. Uh, so that's another big one. A lot of attendees will be on the panel uh, alongside some great people, including the Review Bros, um, TJ, the man of Fitness Deal News, and a whole bunch of other great people, including the man Lee Priest. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll be in New Jersey for, I think, a few days, a week around that. Then we're going to be headed to Houston for a week, and then we're going to be headed to uh, Vegas for a week in and around Supply Site. Um, so yeah. Any of that fits in, feel free to reach out to me. Um, we'll be visiting a lot of brands and sharing a lot of content and doing a lot of things within all of that. But I always make time for anyone that reaches out. So, um, jumping back into the content, and we're going to speed this up because there was a lot shared last week. I'm going to kick this whole thing off with news from Steel Supplements. And this was a long time coming. I think it was last year, maybe over a year ago, that Steel announced it was coming out with an energy drink. The product was originally called Octane, if I remember. I think it was Octane. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but it, it was it was just vaguely teased a product called Octane, um, and then it evolved to Omni Energy, and then I mean this all happened across the span of 12 months. This week or this this last week, that fi- that product finally made it to market. You can now head to Steel's website and purchase Omni Energy Drink, and it is. Um, a little more than your typical product, so it's not your caffeine taurine. They have mixed things up a bit. You get some caffeine, theanine, uh, CoQ10, theobromine, ginger root, and so the ginger root I think was actually was was an interesting one. So they added the ginger root in an effort to uh, uh, what's the word support or help any discomfort that may come from the carbonation, which I thought was an interesting feature because typically active ingredients and in beverages are just for energy focus stuff like that. They have kind of added this in to smoothen out the the comfort of the whole drink, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, the caffeine is at 200 milligrams, so a pretty reasonable amount, right around um, some other sports nutrition brands that are that, that kind of proving popular. And it, it keeps the nutrition pretty clean. No sugar, 3 grams of carbs and 10 calories. And it has debuted in three flavors, uh, Stoked, Corsa, and Beach Day, all of which obviously don't tell you absolutely anything about what they're going to taste like. And unfortunately, unlike with G Fuel and a couple other companies, even Monster to some extent, they don't have a description as to what those taste like. So you will be going in blind. All you have to go off is the colors and the look of the cans, which I've seen, and they don't really kind of suggest anything. Outside of Beach Day, I think Beach Day was the only one to me that would suggest some sort of flavor because was it Corsa and Stoked don't really scream anything, but Beach Day, obviously, you know, you associate some of beach, sun, refreshing, tropical, fruity flavors. That's my guess on that one. Um, but yeah, you can check it out on the website um, as well as over at Steel Nutrition, Steel Supplements website. Uh, that's where you can get your hands on that one. Um, next up, we're gonna keep within the energy drink realm with Beyond Raw, the powerhouse brand, reputable brand um, from GNC. They've had a stellar year, um, in, in case you were following. They've had an incredible year. They've always put together great supplements, but it's always been, how would you say, like uh, spaced out. Like they would do one, go quiet, do one, go quiet, and, and it wasn't really um, too consistent. This year, they've actually really flipped things up. They have been pretty full on, dropping a lot of supplements, um, including their premium pre-workout, their Concept X. They did the two premium uh, protein powders, with the dynamic protein powders, as they described, enhanced with... Um, IO ingredient optimized technology. Uh, they did the amino, the new amino, they did a nootropic. They've done a whole bunch of things and it's very impressive to see this. Um, definitely putting them in contention, at least in my mind, for a nomination in, in our annual brand of the year award, which is obviously coming up in December as it 
as it does every year. And um, yeah, so they've come out with another energy drink called Ch Lit Charged. So this is different from the Lit On The Go beverage, which is a pretty good tasting drink. Um, focused more for performance and workout stuff. Lit Charged is kind of what I like to call your everyday energy drink or so somewhat of a nootropic energy drink. Um, these are things that don't really include like citrulline or beta alanine or too much caffeine. They're geared more towards just something for people that want just a more, more I guess, more moderate, more gradual uplift in the day, right? Like a mid-morning, mid-afternoon pick-me-up, a mid-morning just kick, like whatever, just not something that gives you the bolt of lightning that you want for a workout, but still enough to get you going. Um, so yeah, Lit Charged is a 12 ounce energy drink and it gives you uh, N-acetyl L-tyrosine, uh, premium cognizant, uh, proven to support focus and cognition, um, 200, sorry, 160 milligrams of caffeine, oh, sorry, 200 milligrams of caffeine, sorry, uh, which is 20% lighter than um, the, sorry, no, 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 sorry, let me rerun this, run this, I'm reading the second part of the story. Um, it comes with, yeah, so N-acetyl or tyrosine at a gram per serving, 100 milligrams of uh, Neurofactor, premium component, 300 milligrams of alpha GPC, and 250 milligrams of caffeine. The ingredients I was just rattling off is actually from um, the similarly formulated C4 Smart Energy. It's also kind of similar goals to Lit Charge. Like I said, it's more of an everyday energy drink, not specifically designed for a workout or anything, um, more just energy and focus to get you going for a little boost wherever you need it, basically for work, productivity, day-to-day -day stuff, gaming, study. Um, and I see, we won't mention that that is similar because that also has N-acetyl tyrosine, has a premium component, which isn't Neurofactor, but is Cognizant, and then you've got caffeine uh, at 200 milligrams. So, whereas the caffeine in um, uh, Lit Charger 250. So it's a pretty, uh, pretty solid uh, energy drink for gain, like pretty much stuff non-exercise related or non-high uh, powered related. And uh, being a sports nutrition brand, the uh, nutrition profile is pretty damn low. You got no sugar, three grams of carbs, and just 10 calories with three flavors to choose from. And they are, I'm just trying to find them because I'm pretty sure, here we go. Uh, snow cone, gummy worm, and watermelon. Uh, so that's out now at GNC. And I think it's pretty reasonable on price, $29.99 for a case of 12. Um, so right around typical energy drink prices um, and yeah, available at GNC online as well as in stores. Uh, from there, we're gonna shoot over to uh, Applied Nutrition, who keeps us on the topic of beverages. Uh, so Applied Nutrition is another company that's had one hell of a year. Um, not so much on the, uh, uh, I guess, full-blown uh, North American competition side, but they have been incredible internationally. They have been delivering on um, hype and excitement in the US, not I would say on the level of Beyond Raw, but they've been delivering impressively considering they only just launched earlier this year and they've been uh, not slowing down over in their uh, original market of the UK, Europe. Um, so yeah, Applied Nutrition has been just throwing out new flavors of its drink uh, Body Fuel, which is a sports drink, electrolyte powered uh, sports drink and uh, so they have just bought that to the US. Um, but if you, someone actually asked this the other day, they were saying that um, there were similarities that they saw between Applied and ABE Nation in the US. Now obviously, uh, ABE Nation is Applied Nutrition. It's a, um, ABE is the pre-workout from Applied Nutrition and, and when they launched in the US, they didn't go with the name Applied. I don't know why. I do know there were a few brands before with the name Applied. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But yeah, they launched with Abe or ABE as their primary name. Um, so you've got the, the Instagram handles ABE Nation. All their products are ABE branded. You don't really see anything Applied related. Um, but anyway, so for the launch of Body Fuel in the US, they changed the name. So instead of Body Fuel from Applied Nutrition, it is ABE Fuel which I kind of makes sense, obviously it ties in with the name. And uh, yeah, same formula, exactly the same formula, available in the, uh, two flavors, both of which are from the UK Body Fuel. Um, and those are Lemon Lime and Patty Punch, which is the collaboration with Patty Pimblet. And so yeah, they're out now in the US. Again, same formula, same benefits, same everything as you get in the UK. Slightly different name and only two of its many different flavors 
Um, so if you are, if you do familiar with the UK, want to just follow stacked, you'll know there are a lot of flavors for body fuel uh, internationally. Uh, but US has only got two for now, and I suspect that uh, as it grows and I guess expands and proves successful, uh, they will add more of those flavors, and it's even easier for them since they have those flavors already good to go in the UK. Um, so yeah, check that out on the site. Uh, I'm going to continue down the beverage road because last week was actually jam-packed full of beverage news. Uh, I'm going to keep the put the focus on this round to Optimum Nutrition. So Optimum Nutrition um, is one of those brands that's just been in the energy drink space for much longer than anyone else. Uh, long before it became popular, I think these guys even came in before C4 and Maricola Energy, which was some of the notable names that entered the category, but um, whatever they did it, I can't remember exactly where. Um, Optimum introduced Amino Energy, or sorry, the Amino Energy drink, which was a carbonated version of Amino Energy. Uh, very similar balance of ingredients, aminos, uh, electrolytes, and then um, ingredients for energy. Uh, that product tastes damn good. If you haven't had it, I think it's the mango pineapple one. It's like three fruits, I can't remember the name of it. Absolutely killer. Um, and it's done very well throughout the years. It's managed to stay strong and for 2023, they've decided to rebrand the thing. Uh, they've done a similar look change to what Rise did with Rise Fuel earlier in the year where they had the vertical branding or the vertical rebranding of the engine. They switched it so you could see it um, basically read the name in the top half. And I remember seeing on social media that they were pointing out that that was for when you put it into coolers, like at 7-Eleven, uh, obviously they have a, a brace or a bracket that sits halfway up and they wanted to be able to read the name of the product above the bracket. It kind of seems what they've done here with Optimum's Amino Energy Drink. You've got the flavor graphics down the bottom, but at top you can actually now very clearly see Amino Energy. Instead of it reading vertically, it reads straight across left to right horizontally. Um, as far as I know, it will be applied to all of the flavors. As far as I know, the well, according to Optimum Nutrition's website, the ingredients is staying exactly the same. I didn't see any difference. Um, and while only three of the flavors have been, I think four of the flavors have been revealed so far in this new look, I'm guessing they're doing it to the rest of the flavors. It would be very odd to rebrand an energy drink without the full family, um, unless they plan on discontinuing and coming out with new ones. I don't really know. Um, but new look, check it out on the site um, and we'll make sure we share any more updates if there's anything else that uh, comes with it. Keeping in the realm of energy drinks, as I said, it was a jam-packed week of energy drinks. Alternatively, uh, as we discovered in China, that um, they're just not a really a big thing there and the maximum caffeine amount I was told was 100 milligrams. So it was not very easy to find uh, my go-to energy drink there, but um, back to the news. The uh, team at Juvie has made uh, fans of the boys, their dreams come true basically. So last year, I think it was season three of the boys, um, A-Train had, A-Train was obviously, sorry, he's a superhero within the show, um, known for his speed, and uh, he promoted an energy drink within the show. Obviously completely fictional, it was a, uh, an energy drink in, in, in the series and it was called uh, Turbo Rush and he had a whole campaign, finished product, he drank and everything. It was very clearly an energy drink, fitting of course with the manual super speed. Um, and so yeah, that uh, was last year that that season rolled out. Now, I think it's this month or next month, the, the spin-off series of The Boys, Gen V, is hitting um, Amazon Prime. I think it's later this month. And to tie in with that, uh, Juvi, energy, energy drink company, has actually made A Train's Turbo Rush a reality. Uh, so if you go to our site, you can see a picture of it. It looks pretty much identical to what uh, A Train drank in the show. And we've actually put a video. Um, the company within the show has a YouTube channel, if this makes sense. Um, and they put clips from within the show that were kind of like, I guess, used as marketing material onto this channel. And uh, on there, you can see A-Train doing his commercial, promoting the energy drink. And yeah, you can see what it looks like. And Juvie has pretty much replicated that look and made it a reality. So they have created the Juvie Turbo Rush energy drink, has the same formula as every other flavor of the Juvie energy drink. Uh, five calories, no sugar, 127 milligrams of caffeine. Um, I don't know what this one meant to taste like. 
I don't know what a trains turbo rush is intended to taste like they haven't got a flavor description on it um, so it might even be like a reskin of a flavor I don't entirely know it just says extreme flavor <laughs> across the top um, but yeah the other interesting fact about this is that you can't get it um, from Juvie's website this has been put together in partnership with the delivery company GoPuff so and the only way to actually get this is you can get it free um, by buying a product from the Gen V collection on GoPuff and that includes the recently released uh, Peach Mango I think it's called I'm trying to remember the exact name um, they actually just launched a yeah sorry Peach Peachy Mango Puff that's a flavor Juvi just launched through GoPuff and so if you buy that you will get Turbo Rush thrown in for free so basically it's a this is the only way that I've, I know that you can get it um, you can't buy it you can't find it individually it's not available you have to get it free uh, through GoPuff um, yeah that's the only way and it is a very 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 limited product so uh, I don't expect it to last very long um, but yeah still live last time we checked uh, the next story we got probably going to shoot over to uh, serious nutrition solutions and then we'll wrap it up with uh, two more stories this is the long episode this is the, the long introduction definitely added to it um, so we got news from serious nutrition solutions which is one of my go-to brands incredibly specialized company they make uh, just a ridiculously detailed selection of supplements and um, lately they've been building out more muscle building supplements a, a better muscle building side basically um, introducing advanced products that you can kind of stack together so they got testosterone booster uh, cortisol products they've got various different things that you can bring together they've just introduced a product called peptiplex or peptiplex however you want to say it and it is basically a peptide based uh, muscle building supplement and like every other product within the SNS family or serious nutrition family you can stack this with others within its category um, so you can use this alongside other muscle building supplements including their optimized tea uh, even recomp 20 um, as there's just no crossover ingredients but basically the key thing it's based around is uh, peptidestrome which is a how do I explain this this is a premium anabolic peptide I think it is um, I'm trying to remember the precise description the brand provides um, but it was discovered by uh, AI they use the artificial intelligence to basically find this thing and create it not create it but find it discover it and then turn it into an ingredient for use in supplements and it's kind of pretty much helps boost muscle building um, recovery performance it was first used I believe in Glaxon's anomaly there might have been one before that but as far as I know that was one of the earliest maybe not the first um, and yeah SNS has put a solid 2.4 grams per serving in this one and being the brand that it is SNS hasn't stopped there uh, you've also got 50 milligrams of VasoFlow, a green and black tea blend. 50 milligrams, oh, sorry, 300 milligrams of VasoFlow. Then 50 milligrams each of Synactive for performance, um, Apipure, Apigenin uh, for muscle building. And then you've got 50 milligrams of Astrogen to basically ramp up uh, absorption and efficacy in this product. Uh, it's available now straight from the SNS's website. Being that it's uh, based around Peptide Strong, that is not a doesn't appear to be a cheap ingredient as in all the supplements that have it aren't cost effective uh, they're quite up there and SNS usually prices its products pretty damn well Peptide Strong sits at $59.99 if you use like any of their codes that can come down to 48 bucks which is still pretty high um, in the grand scheme of things compared to other products and supplements on the market uh, but like I said they um, they tend to put together some pretty solid supplements and they make it easy to stack so if you wanted to spend 60 and get this you can also spend 120 and combine it with another one that will just get you more benefits results without any crossover um, so yeah check that out on the site uh, last two we got we're going to finish with uh, raw nutrition who also dropped the muscle building supplement and like the peptide strong with sns's other muscle building supplements uh, this product is called signal and it also stacks with raw nutrition's other similar category supplements including I think it's their raw test their test booster and their standalone testosterone um, the product is a combination of two ingredients uh, which we mentioned on the story on the site uh, these are two ingredients that aren't uh, that, are, that have been seen together a couple times 
uh, trained by JP Nutrition has a product that uses these two, and so does Unbound Supplements, the uh, high core company from NutriBio. Uh, those two ingredients are Fidoja and I'm trying to remember the other one precisely, Longjack. Um, and so we don't know the exact dosages. Uh, they just revealed the supplement, showed it off, and confirmed that basically Longjack and Fidoja are the two ingredients. Um, my guess is they're dosed pretty good because the serving they have is three capsules, um, 37 to three capsules. Now Unbound has some pretty solid amounts. I think they had 400 milligrams of Long Jack and 1.25 of Fidoja, and they put that in four capsules. So those are pretty good amounts. I would suspect that uh, Raw's falls close to at three capsules. It's quite a sizable serving considering you've only got two components in there. Um, and yeah, it stacks nicely with Raw Test as well as the Raw's Nutrition's Turkestrone. And it should be launching shortly uh, on the Raw Nutrition website. And I imagine it's going to be priced around the same as uh, those other two, Test and Turk. Uh, mostly because that was a similar case with Trained by JP's competitor. As well as Unbound's uh, Fidoja and Long Jack supplement. Those both sit in that $50 realm, so I suspect that's might be where raw nutrition's one or sorry raw nutrition's signal ends up landing um the next story we have and this is going to round it out uh, we actually shared this and kind of got it out there uh before it was announced during the whole time i was in china um and that was oreo uh so or grenade if you didn't catch it was it last year i think uh, they launched an authentic oreo flavor of the grenade protein bar uh, which makes sense as I think it was the owner of the new owner of Grenade or the, comp the company that owns Grenade also owns Oreo or has something like that. And so it kind of it made sense. Um, but they knocked this thing out of the park. If you ever tried the original one, holy shit, is it amazing. So that first um, Oreo Grenade protein bar, the chocolate on Grenade's protein bars has always been killer. But they paired it with like this crumbly cookie base and then they used real vanilla, Oreo vanilla. Um, in the the creamy layer of the protein bar and that thing just nails it that that sweetness that they have in there just has you thinking of nothing but Oreo and then there's real Oreo bits sprinkled throughout um, but Grenade has launched a spin-off of that product with basically a white chocolate version uh, so as far as I know and looking at pictures you've got the same crumbly base the same uh, Oreo style vanilla cream across the top but instead of being wrapped in milk chocolate, it's wrapped in white chocolate. And the macros are practically the same. You get 20 grams of protein, 20 grams of carbs, 2 grams of sugar, 10 grams of, sorry, under 2 grams of sugar, 10 grams of fat, and 232 calories. That product is out now in the UK and Europe. So you can grab it through grenade.com. If you go to that site from other um, regions, it won't show up or it won't uh, let you buy it and ship it. Um, but I know that... Uh, it's in the UK, they're shipping to Europe, so I suspect that, that would mean that everyone in Europe can look forward to seeing it shortly. I remember coming across that bar um, all over the damn place. Uh, I'm trying to remember where I saw it. Uh, Grenade has incredible global distribution. They don't have much presence in the US, however, if any. Um, so you might have to buy from a store in the UK or Europe to ship it over if you want to try it. Um, but I also do know that Canadian supplement stores um, have shown up with it. Uh, so I, I'm trying to remember, there's a couple, we've, we had one on the site that we mentioned before that stocked it. So um, keep a lookout on that and you might be able to grab it from there rather than shipping it all the way from, you know, across the ditch. But um, you can check that out in more detail on the site, White Chocolate Oreo, out now. Um, and that goes for everything else that we mentioned on this podcast. All of it's available on the, on the website. Do apologize for uh, missing out the last two weeks. It was completely out of my control and we would have made it happen had I had the ability to um, and we'll keep, in, keep them coming um, next week, this week, every other week. Uh, we'll begin a mobile kit as we move forward with the traveling to the next show as well as uh, Supply Side West as well. But uh, thank you for tuning in and look forward to having you again next time.